What's going on guys, Reverend Saint here, and I have a Grand Theft Auto 5 achievement guide for you guys today. Slash trophy guide, I know, I don't have a PS3, but it does go both ways, it counts on both, and it is for the close shave achievement. Now basically what this achievement is, is there are 50 specific bridges in the game that you have to fly under with a helicopter or an airplane. Obviously helicopter would be the easiest to do for this challenge, and that's what I will show you guys how to do. I'll show you guys where to get that helicopter and which one to use. Secondly, right after you do all those bridges, you have to do 15 knife flight challenges. And what those are is you get a plane, turn it sideways, and fly in between two really close obstacles that you normally could not fly in between flying regular. So there are 15 of those. I'm going to show you guys where everything is. I'm going to show you guys what helicopter to use and why. I'm going to show you guys what plane to use. And really doesn't matter what plane you use as long as you can do it. Don't use the, the, uh, the drug running or the arms race plane because it does not fly very well upside down or on the side uh but a stunt plane a jet works and i'll show you guys where to get the jet and we're gonna go ahead and get into this but i do have tips for you guys first off utilize the quick save feature it's a, when you hit up on your d-pad and you pull up your phone it's the little kind of like cloud thing with the up arrow save it if your vehicle gets damaged save it really quick and then load really quick and your vehicle will be completely fixed very 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 good tip utilize it you're gonna want to because your vehicle will get damaged after a few tries and running into stuff because it's gonna take a couple tries on some of these now also I gotta say in the video I'm using Trevor's helicopter I do not advise using that because it is too big for some of the bridges um, mainly down towards the city there's some ones that you're gonna end up hitting the sides with that one you're gonna want to use the helicopter that I do show you I show you the hell the, the hospital helicopter I'll show you where to get it you want to use that one because it's a lot smaller. Another reason you utilize that save feature because the helicopter does not spawn all the time. If it's not there for you, save, reload, go to sleep, leave the area, come back. Eventually, it will spawn on that, that hospital. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where to get that right now. First off, you guys are going to want to get the helicopter that is on the hospital's roof in the Davis County. It's actually right around the corner from Franklin's house. So if you just started the game and you're just now taking control of Franklin, you can actually go right here, get in this helicopter, and start doing the achievement. Now it's going to be a little bit more difficult because his flying uh, skill is way way low compared to Trevor's. Trevor's is like automatically at 100 uh, so it's much easier and I'm getting shot at by some gangsters here because I'm in a certain part of the story I'm not going to spoil anything uh, so that's not going to happen to you unless you piss off the police so uh, yeah here it is right in the Davis County right around the corner from Franklin size you can see it on the map earlier and there you guys go so <clears throat> That's where you get the chopper. That is the one you want to use because it is a lot smaller than pretty much any other chopper in the game. Much easier to do this achievement with. So here we go. Bridge number one. It's all the way up, kind of like half, like right below Polito Bay, essentially. It's right in front, like on top of the military base. So you're just going to go from the mountains under the bridge to the ocean, and there you guys go. Number two is on the other side of that military base, and you can just circle right around the military base, go from the ocean back towards the mountain, and there you go, that is bridge number two. Boom. Bridge number three, on the other hand, is a little tricky. It is the second set of houses down. It's right towards the city. Keep following that road all the way down around from number two, and it's right here. It's like a little arch. It's kind of hard to find because there's actually multiple bridges just like that right in that area, but you do that. Now, bridges 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 are all in this canal way at the bottom of the city you can see it on the map right there i got the map following it so you guys can see what route i took and which bridges are what so obviously the first one's four that's five six we got seven eight nine and ten all in this canal so you just fly along the canal under the bridges make sure you don't touch anything and they will all count for you for the achievement For bridge number 11, you want to hang a right immediately after getting number 10, and it's that big green Golden Gate Bridge looking bridge. It's literally impossible to miss when you're out by the docks. You just want to fly right under that sucker, and there you go, number 11. Now, numbers 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 are all in succession right here. 12 and 13 are these kind of drawbridge looking things. 
they're kind of difficult to get because they're really close to the water and it's very hard to kind of go under them without hitting the top so be careful make sure you do it without touching anything and you're good to go those are 12 and 13 14 15 16 and 17 are all right here down here towards kind of going out towards the water if you just keep following that kind of inlet there going out towards the water you're good to go you fly under all of those ridges and you will get all the way up to number 17 so there you go for numbers 18 through 27 yes that's how many are in this canal area right here you can see on the map 18 through 27 that was 18 right ahead's 19 and it does fork off to the right here you do not want to follow that you want to keep following it off to the left side of the fork and keep go under all of those bridges there's like nothing on the right side of that fork so you do not want to go that way uh there is a little bridge for the train that one does not count you want to just keep following all the big big main bridges now towards the end i think there's one or two that are really 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 close together in order to get through it and that's why you can't use the helicopter i'm using right now it's actually too big that this is trevor's helicopter that he gets in the storyline whereas i told you guys to use the, the the hospital one that is why because it is smaller it's going to seem impossible even with that one but it is possible i have done it it does count so go ahead and do it that way that is numbers 18 through 27. Now for bridges 28 and 29, you want to kind of just hang a right, kind of do a 180 after getting numbers 27 and just kind of go follow the highway and go under the bridges that are along the highway. You can see them on the map right there. Those are 28 and 29. Right ahead of it is actually number 30 as well. So you'll see it right here on the map. It's kind of like that big huge main. It's right before the big huge main intersection from coming from the mountains. And you just kind of fly under that entire thing. Make sure you do not touch the lamppost. Don't touch the ground or the top on any of the bridges and you will get it and you're good to go. Number 31 is on that road that we just flew under for number 30. You follow it back up towards the mountain and there's going to be a bridge for the train. You're going to want to fly right under that. It's right over that main road and there you go. That's number 31. Number 32 is just farther up. It's right under a big intersection. You're going to want to follow, fly under the train's bridge not the other bridge the other bridge really doesn't count at all it's just a train bridge kind of weird i know now number 33 is a little hard to find actually it was very hard to find it's actually not a bridge it's kind of like this little cave thing out in the water towards the right of where we just were you're gonna want to find it and just fly right through it don't touch the water it's kind of a little bit difficult but it's not too bad and there you go you get number 33 34 and 35 are right following that main road there's a bridge for the train and the bridge for the highway you're gonna want to fly under both of those don't hit anything like i just did like a moron and you're good to go for number 34 and 35 36 is following the big highway with multiple you know like a uh, uh, lanes in it you're gonna want to follow that up and there's a part where it kind of like covers over a bunch of other highways there's one big bridge you want to fly under and that's the one right there that's number 36 now 37 is directly to the right of it on the other smaller highway we were just on you're going to want to fly under the bridge that is for the train and there you guys go number 37 we are almost there guys 37 out of 50 keep following that up it's kind of kind of like run into this part where it merges with that big highway right before you get to sandy shores like right there pretty much and you're going to want to get on the big highway and fly under that road that you were just on and there you go that is number 38 39 is up towards the top right of the lake going kind of towards the top right of the map and there's going to be a two bridges actually 39 and 40 are right here 39 is quite difficult to get because it's very very small but you can do it just watch for that incoming traffic the big traffic and then follow that road straight back and there is a bridge for the train that's kind of got this big cutout you're going to want to fly through that cutout now 41 is farther up it's another bridge for the train right on the highway just keep following that highway and there you guys go fly under that bridge bridge 41 done now watch out for that traffic because it's pretty tricky now 42 is kind of right by bridge number one actually it's up in the mountains it's very difficult to find it's a dirt road bridge 
You want to fly under that, be careful of the mountains, don't crash into it like I did the first couple times and you're good to go. Now 43 and 44 are both kind of in this kind of this river right here that is by bridge number one. It's going back away like the opposite direction we went in the, originally and you're going to get bridge numbers 43 and 44 all right there. Now 44 and 45 and 46 sorry are both right there on kind of to the right of where we just were for bridges 43 and 44 and they're right next to each other one is a just a regular car bridge and the other one is a train bridge so there you guys go 45 and 46 47 is kind of down the river a little bit more it's kind of hidden a little bit but you, I'm sure you guys can find it with that map. It took me a little bit because this is hard to get. But there you guys go. 47. 48 is right next to it, really. There's like this covered bridge there. I did not zoom in on that one. I apologize. But it's pretty easy to spot. It's, it's literally a covered bridge. There you guys go. That was 48. Now, 49. Right there. We are two away, guys. I didn't zoom in on that one either. Uh, but you can get it. It's it's just looking like, you know, it's got a cage on top of it. It's not too hard to find. And then number 50 is, like, right after you go through number 49. Just hang left. Go under that next bridge. And boom! Number 50. There you guys go. That is all of the bridges done. Now for the knife flight section. Now, the best plane to use for the knife flight section is actually the military jet kind of difficult to get but i do show you guys where to get it it's right in between bridges one and two and the bridge i think there's a big military base on the peninsula there you're gonna want to take a fast car not an suv like i did i almost died it came really close uh, but I did get to it. That's easy getting to the jet. What's hard is taking off and getting away with it because there is a no-fly zone. So if you take off too soon, two seconds later after they issue the warning, they will shoot you down and there's pretty much no do dodging that missile. Uh, but if you just kind of drive on the ground until the very end of the runway like I do here and then take off, they will issue the warning but they do not have time to actually shoot you down. So you just fly around till you get rid of the cats and you're good to go. Now, knife flight number one is in the downtown Vinewood County. You can actually see the name of the county in the bottom left corner when you're over the square. And there's two buildings with like tons of like air conditioners and generators on the roof. You're going to want to fly in between those. There's number one. Number two is in the Alta County. There are two distinct buildings coming from the mountains. If you just fly from the mountains, turn sideways, go in between those two buildings, you're good to go. Now, three, four, and five are all in the main city. It's in the Textile City slash Strawberry Avenue County. There's two big buildings there. You're gonna wanna fly through those. The second set of big buildings does not count. That does not count, but if you keep flying, you're gonna get these two right here, and that's four and five. Just keep going sideways through that city, and you're good to go. Number six is in West Vinewood, and actually right next to six is number seven. You can see where it forks off there. These two are both six and seven. They're both one of them. I'm gonna go fly back, and I'm gonna show you guys number seven right here. You do that, same exact county, same exact spot. There is six, and there is seven. Knife flights number eight and number nine are both in the Pillbox Hill County. If you come kind of flying from the harbor, you're going to run into these guys. They're kind of like in the, the outskirts of the big part of the city. And there you guys go. Number eight and number nine. Easy to spot. The next one is in Rockford Hills. Number 10. Very difficult to get. I bear almost almost crashed very easy spot but hard to get because it's so close to the ground then number 11 is also in rockford hills it's in the northern part very easy to spot this one there's two big buildings biggest buildings in that county anywhere near and there you guys go right through it number 11 number 12 is in the del perro del perro freeway county don't know why freeway is a county but it's there uh, this is the hardest one. As you can see, I crashed the jet trying to do this one. Got the stump plane because it's much slower. Uh, but it is possible. That tree's in the way. It's very difficult. <laughs> All right. Then we have 13 and 14 right in succession right here. Very easy spot. Kind of looks like a big, huge, gigantic business or like a, a like a resort type thing. And there you guys go. 13 and 14. And 15 is right here in the Del Perro Beach County, right on the outskirts of the city area where the map changes colors. Fly from the beach towards the mountains. And boom, there you go. Number 15, Achievement Gang. Close shave. 20 points on Xbox. I'm not sure what it is on the PS3. Celebrate by doing a tour in the air and crashing in the ground. I hope you guys this. I hope this helped you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.